Congratulations on finally achieving your inquiry. The recent event at Starbase involving the SpaceX Starship Cybertruck and Raptor has indeed caused a stir in the excitement of space enthusiasts. This historic moment marked the integration of SpaceX's cutting-edge technologies, showcasing their dedication to pushing the boundaries of space exploration. Get ready for more thrilling developments as SpaceX continues to break new ground. What are the objectives behind this endeavor of SpaceX Starship met digital truck pulling Raptor? Is SpaceX chipping away at it? Is the FAA going to stop SpaceX Starship advancement? The answers to all these questions are in today's video. But before starting the video, if you are new to our channel and haven't subscribed yet, then do subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so you will never miss an update in the future. Let's dive into the video. The most anticipated encounter of the year took place yesterday at Starbase, Texas, where Elon Musk's two futuristic creations finally met face to face. The SpaceX Starship, the reusable rocket that aims to take humans to Mars and beyond, and the Cybertruck, the electric pickup truck that looks like it came from a sci-fi movie, had a moment of glory as they crossed paths on the road. The scene was captured by several photographers and enthusiasts who were lucky enough to witness the historic event. The Cybertruck was seen pulling a trailer with a Raptor engine, the powerful rocket engine that propels the Starship. The truck was escorted by a Tesla Model Y and a Model 3, forming a convoy of Musk's electric vehicles. The Starship, on the other hand, was standing tall on the launch pad, ready for its next test flight. The massive rocket has been undergoing several tests and modifications in recent months, as SpaceX prepares for its first orbital flight later this year. The Starship is expected to launch from Starbase and land in the Pacific Ocean near Hawaii, demonstrating its capabilities and paving the way for future missions. The meeting of the Starship and the Cybertruck was a rare and spectacular sight that showcased the vision and ambition of Elon Musk and his companies. Both projects are pushing the boundaries of technology and innovation and have attracted millions of fans and followers around the world. The Starship and the Cybertruck represent the future of transportation and exploration, and their encounter was a glimpse of what's to come. When SpaceX's Starship finally heads to Mars, its payload could include a Tesla Cybertruck, which is completely possible. In fact, it was like a scene out of an Elon Musk-produced film that was caught on camera this week at SpaceX, Starbase in Texas by Starship Gazer, who managed to point the camera at a Tesla Cybertruck towing, a massive rocket engine on a trailer. Specifically, the all-electric pickup was towing a Raptor vacuum engine meant for the second stage of the Starship launch system, which reportedly weighs around 1,600 kilograms or about 3,500 pounds. Tesla said that the Cybertruck will have a towing capacity of over 14,000 pounds, depending on the configuration or model. In any case, this is the first time that we've seen a Cybertruck towing a SpaceX rocket engine. Previously, the all-electric pickup that's yet to be delivered was spotted towing, a variety of trailers on the roads of North America and New Zealand, but never something as big as a Raptor engine. That being said, the next g electric pickup and the next g fully reusable heavy lift rocket is truly a match made in heaven. Cybertruck looks more like a rover designed for space exploration than a truck, and the analogy in this case is particularly fitting because the Cybertruck is clad in the same stainless steel alloy that Musk's other company SpaceX will use as the skin of its forthcoming Starship spaceship. Musk said on stage during the unveiling in 2019 the 9mm it is. It is literally bulletproof to a 9mm Mallory handgun that's how strong the skin is so ultra-hard cold rolled a uh, stainless steel alloy that we developed we're going to be using the same alloy in, in the Starship rocket and in the Cybertruck. As we all know, Starship is also made of stainless steel for the outer shell, with an additional tile covering layer for half of the spacecraft that will endure the highest heat from re-entry. The super heavy booster that the Starship will ride at top during its exit will be clad entirely in stainless steel. The reasoning for going with that material was a combination of cost and effectiveness, as it's actually remarkably good at withstanding and shedding high heat. Using the same stainless steel alloy across both Tesla and SpaceX will obviously provide some cost efficiencies, especially if the Cybertruck manages to become a high-volume production vehicle. 
There's another way that the Cybertruck could benefit. SpaceX's work and Musk alluded to it on X, ahead of the event. Indeed, in November of 2019, Musk declared via Twitter at the time that a pressurized version of Tesla's Cybertruck would be the official truck of Mars the following month. He noted in another tweet that Starship would have the payload capacity for a Cybertruck, as always with Musk. Think in this instance. He actually meant this literally at least at this stage in the game. A Cybertruck rover for astronaut use on Mars could theoretically benefit both Tesla and Cybertruck. Other crucial activities are fighting for their right to be in the spotlight, namely the ship transport. This could have something to do with the flight termination system, or it could be stuff that is related to the FAA. But the good news is, SpaceX has a two-hour closure. It could also be Ship 26 in play, but we're all hoping for some full-stack fun. Also, Ship 29 was undergoing another cry test at NASA's test site. In other space-related news, North Grumman has officially announced their plans to drop out of their current partnership involving space station development and instead, it'll develop its own commercial space station, assisting a competing effort led by Voyager Space. Under the new partnership, the companies will cooperate on the development of fully autonomous docking systems for Northrop Sickness Cargo, spacecraft allowing it to dock with Voyager Star Lab Space Station, the companies also said they will further explore opportunities to strengthen the development of Starlab that could include Northrop Provide, providing engineering design services for that station. The two companies had been independently working on space station concepts. Those agreements are intended to mature the designs of their stations as part of NASA's efforts to assist the development of commercial successors to the International Space Station. Set to retire in 2130 Voyager space, recently added Airbus Defense and Space to its team, creating a joint venture to enable the development of Starlab. The Voyager Northrup statement did not discuss the future of Northrup's proposed station. The company has received $36.6 million out of a total 125.638 positive development. NASA stated it will take the $89 million that North of German did not receive on its CLLD agreement and other unspecified funding to add milestones to the agreements it has with the Voyager Space, Blue Origin, and Axiom Space Coalition, assuming NASA and the companies can agree on the additional milestones and values. It was said at the same conference that Northrop, even while still developing its own station concept, was offering sickness to other commercial space station providers. Another company official said at the conference that, among the upgrades to sickness being studied, was one that would allow sickness to dock, rather than be birthed by a robotic arm as it is today at the ISS. All in all, this is definitely alarming news for NASA's future space station. Its rival China, in the meantime, will send new modules to its Tongong space station in the coming years to expand the outposts, volume, and capabilities. Future plans for Tongong were presented at the 47th International Astronautically Convention in Baku on October 4th, Jiang Chaya of the China Academy of Space Technology, or C, presented plans to expand Tiangong from three to six modules. We will build a 180-ton six-module assembly in the future, Shang said. Tonggong currently has three modules, each with a mass of around 22 tons, a multifunctional expansion, and module with six docking ports will first be launched in the coming years to allow this expansion. This will dock at the forward port of the Tonho core module. We can then be added to Tonggong. The timeline for such launches is around four years. From now, an expanded Tonggong would be just over a third of the mass of the roughly 450 metric ton ISS. The first module for the ISS Zarya was launched in 1998. Partners in the program are seeking to maximize the use of the aging station through 2030. Jiang also stated that the expansion interfaces for Tonho and the 1N experiment module are being developed to host large external payloads. Inflatable modules are also being developed. These will serve both as potential habitats and preliminary verification for crude lunar exploration. A Hubble-class cooperating space telescope named Sunan is planned to be launched around 2024. It'll be able to dock with Tang G for maintenance, repairs, refueling, and upgrades. Shang's presentation also noted that more spacecraft will probably fly co-orbit ally with CSS or the Chinese space station to receive on-orbit services. 
The CSS will gradually play an important role as a space, home port according to Siang, and that's about all we have for you today. Hope you liked the video. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and share it.